Hey guys, what's up? And today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Wii Classic controller. So, yep, it's right here, I'm pretty sure. Got the whole box going, as you saw in the, in the uh, video. So, let's go. Put the box and... What the... Okay, that's pretty dangerous whoever sent me this on eBay. Because you didn't even send the box, meaning that it could have got damaged. But you're lucky that it's still good, man. I would have... Freaking, okay, at least it's still good. I'm not even gonna lie. So this is the controller right here. It might look, it may look backwards because of the freaking camera reflection. I don't know if it's gonna be backwards, I don't know, but. Nonetheless, it's pretty small, but I do have small hands. So it's pretty big for me, but for other people it might be pretty small. It's an oval shape. It's pretty comfortable, I'm not even gonna lie. Let's test out all the buttons. These are like the GameCube. These are pretty nice. Show um, normal buttons. Not that bad. Pretty good. Solid. Star, select, home, usual. The D Holy. This is a good D-pad. That's a good D-pad. Alright. Oh. Analog triggers. Let's go. They never ever put analog triggers. Look at this. This is L. Has analog triggers. R. Analog triggers. C. R. These are analog. What is this? What is this? Maybe there's something else. I do not know what this is. Maybe it's for something I don't know yet. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it's not looking so good so far right now. That scratch right there. But it's not really, it doesn't really matter because it's still in perfect condition. Just a little scratch. Um, yeah, not a really good scratch. Pretty big, actually, not gonna lie. It's really noticeable. There's another one here. It's from eBay. It's not a third party controller. I just got the the regular kind so um yeah for me it's pretty big for other people it's probably be really small because i don't know because it's probably small for other people right now have small hands man oh 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 yeah i forgot this is r l z r z l i mean z r yeah, z l but this is r and l i thought this would be z r z z l l r it's kind of weird. This is really, really. This is strange positioning right here because then I don't have to go like over here. But it's not that bad considering that it's a pretty small controller. Pretty basic. And also the cord is on the bottom, not the top. Kind of weird, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, I rate this controller a solid. Probably 10 out of 10, but for right now gonna be testing this in the next clip i'll be right back all right guys so now i got a magic ns adapter from like um i don't know um around eight months ago or a year ago at least um so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press this button on the purple mode so hopefully there's gonna be vibration or something then press the sync mode on this I should pair it up. There we go. Paired up. So now the the Wii controller now basically works on the Nintendo Switch here. You can also use the nunchuck. So um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug why does that say paired to? Okay. Doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, it's because um that's player one probably. Since it's wired. Then we're gonna just basically just gonna um plug it in this. Uh, need this. Need to make this nice. Just gonna plug it in. Oh crap! <laughs> Camera fell. Right in there, just like that. Now we should be getting going. Go. Okay. Now. Hope and dreaming of working. 
Okay. Okay. So, you know what? I think I know what's going on. I forgot. This happened with the nunchuck. You have to put it on before it actually sinks. Which is really dumb, but I don't really get the point at all. But it's sinking now, it should be working. Um, there you go. Now it should be working. Please. A it works. There you go, the D-pad. Just like that. No one's in the room, guys. Just in case you think it's fake. No one's in the room. Please, please, please don't worry about the mess. No one's in the room. Um, and this is, like, still tied up there, but we're probably going to remove that soon. A. Just like that. And then now we're going to go to settings to see the controls. Control vibration. Okay, there's no vibration on the in the classic controller, but there is vibration in this. You can hear it. Maybe you guys can hear it. So yeah, there's vibration. I'm pretty sure on the controller because there's like a speaker there. See, check it out. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. I don't really have vibration on, so turn it back off. We go to um, controllers and sensors. Obviously, pro controller, wired communication. If you guys want to do this trick, get a classic controller, or any controller, PS4, Xbox, any controller. To be honest, except some controllers. Um. So yeah, you can. This can basically work on a lot of um, controllers, but some might not work because of the weird port or something. Gonna get a magic NS adapter, put it to the purple mode or red. And then then put Pro Controller Mario Communication on. And then you have all this rich stuff. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can update the controllers. I don't think we can because this is a Wii controller. no way yeah it doesn't update because it's a wii controller not a nintendo switch controller so please don't try to upgrade these just input device so easy so let's put this up here how about that there you go left d-pad right d-pad up d-pad down d-pad and it's just working as analog because um there's like no crotch button or anything like that not really crotch button like there's no buttons there like you can't push it in but anyway we got select we got home we got x y a b S r S l Z Z l Z l and this is ZR. So basically everything's working. No incorrect like buttons. Because this is ZR. R. So. Yeah. Pretty good control. I wonder if this button do anything. Let's check. No. So guessing. And of course. Home. So yeah. This basically this controller works. And um. It's pretty cool. I want to test something out. There's no capture button, but I heard online. Usually with my other controllers, I can't really take a, pa a capture except the PS4 controller because of this big thing that takes a capture. But on the other ones, I can't. But on the PS2 controller, I found out when you connect it to the like, Xbox 360 to PS2 adapter or something like that. I don't really know. You can, you can do it by pressing the select button and start button. And it takes a picture so i'm guessing the select button the start button takes a picture on the classic controller let's try it out oh yeah it does okay so awesome that's how you take a capture just like oops my bad it's hard holding a camera and freaking controlling the controller okay 
three, two, one. Just like that. And the beast control will still work. So you kind of got to be careful if you want to play something like Mario Kart, for example. You got to be careful because if you accidentally press, like, the Wii controller, you can accidentally, like, make incorrect inputs. So you kind of you have to be careful with that. But other than that, this is a very, very nice controller. Very good one. And, yeah, I rate this, like, 10 out of 10, actually, probably, because it's pretty cheap, to be honest. And this has, this isn't a good, this is a good controller. Nice buttons, probably one of the best D-pads ever. It's like the same thing as the Wii D-pad, which I like a lot. Bigger, making a lot more better. So yeah, hope you guys like this unboxing of the Wii Clock controller. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Also guys, my, um, my Halloween trailer, I did a prank on you guys. Saying the Halloween trailer is out, but Halloween trailer is coming out on June 20th. Keep that in mind, June 20th. So, yeah, it's coming out June 20th. Please don't forget. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.